I'll just get some jitters out and then uh, come out here and play football again. It's been a while, so it's good to come out here and just be with the guys and, uh, you know, still learning. How anxious were you during this time? <laughs> oh, real anxious. You know, it's, it sucks whenever you got your team competing and you're, you know, you're not. But it is what it is. You just got to follow the system. And, you know, I'm glad to be here now. Did you have any nights where, like, uh, any of your buddies or your dad, did you get anyone to, like, quiz you on the playbook? Did you do anything to kind of keep the mind fresh? <laughs> yeah, so me and Coach Skipper would talk for about 45 to an hour a day uh, just over the installs that they did that day. And then we'd go over them, and then he'd quiz me. And so it was just real good. He's been extremely helpful taking the after hours out of his day to help me. So I was very appreciative of it. He seems like a cell phone or rotary phone kind of guy as opposed <laughs> to FaceTime. Was that a phone situation? You, you might be right. He's, he's had enough years, though. He knows, you know, he knows how to work with just about everything now. Christian Brown said that he was going to find out real quick where you fit in here today. You were kind of thrown into a bunch of different formations. How did you feel out there going through all the different types of plays you're running? Oh, I felt real good. You know, I you know I got really lucky coming to a place like this. We got a lot of vets helping me out, and the coaches are great. So, you know, I just came in. You know, been studying so hard. So today was just about going out, playing fast, and uh, you know, nice getting back playing football again. Did you get any pointers from anyone before you came out today? Oh, just have fun and play ball. You know, every time you step on this field, there are the X's and O's. But football is a fun sport, so it's about coming out here and working hard, giving great effort, and having fun. Christian, it looks like they're going to use you in a lot of different ways. I think we saw some of that out there today. Uh, what are your thoughts on all the ways they're going to use you? I feel like figure, you know, the more ways you can be dynamic, the better, uh, you know, for the coaches, for me, and for the team. So, uh, you know, whatever they ask me to do, that's what I'll do. What do you do from here? Learn more of the place. Still, you know, on it every single day because this, this is some time off. So I'll be able to get in and study and then, uh, you know, work out, just train the whole time. You are allowed to be around the facility now. Uh, I'm not sure the rules. You, I got to ask somebody. I don't want to get hurt saying are, something I don't. I have no idea yet. If you are allowed, I'm assuming you're, are, are you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be here with a lot of the guys and, you know, trying to learn all the stuff. Would you like to see them change that rule? I would, yeah. I'd like to see, or at least make some, uh, you know, exceptions there. But, you know, it is what it is. I followed the rule. You know, wasn't uh, ideal for me, but it is what it is. I'm back here now, and I'm ready to ready to play ball. How is training in altitude different from being here in the humidity? Uh, it's very opposite. You know, out there, it's you know you can't breathe that well. Here, you can almost breathe too much. So, uh, you know, the humidity is fine. I think the heat is what I'm not used to. The dry air in Colorado isn't like this, but uh, I'll get used to it. Did you wear the long sleeves to kind of? even make it hotter and kind of test a little yourself. bit a little bit just kind of train heavier and then you know you get to play a little lighter do you feel any more or less behind than you thought you would be no i felt really good i already knew all the plays coming into today uh me and coach skip had wrapped them all that running backs to help me out so you know it's just about coming out here knowing what i'm doing and playing fast and in the next practice whenever that is it'll be the same thing can you walk us through any of the highlights and lowlights from these past two weeks about this experience i mean highlights you know you're with your family one last time uh you know i'm training hard i got a great training staff back there with uh, Lauren Lando, my guy, uh, who helps me out a lot. And uh, being able to learn from my dad and some routes and just uh, doing stuff like that, that's a positive. Negative, obviously, you can't get acclimated here with the guys. You know, it's, uh, the plays will come, but it is, you know, it hurts not being a part of the team for a while, but it is what it is. And you get to come back, get acclimated, and get ready to go. Did you and Solomon kind of compare notes on sort of how antiquated this rule is? Oh, yeah, we had some conversations, but, uh, you know, he's the same way as I am. He's just ready to get out there and play football and excited to go out there. I know I wish nothing but success to him. That's, you know, one of my best friends, my roommate. So uh, I'm excited to see he's got a great attitude about it. Love Christian, him. I know you studied your playbook, but did you study uh, any of your teammates as well during your downtime? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you have to. These are the guys you play against more than anybody. So uh, that's something that you have to do. Right, well, thank any you. examples of that? Uh, I mean, just you could name about every example you could think of. That's kind of mostly the linebackers because that's who you go against every day. I think you took a single handoff from Cam maybe today. Was that right? And is that your uh, first one? Honestly, I couldn't tell. You know, you get out there and yeah. it's all just kind of zoned like in. Take you don't even off, think. Yeah, so you just kind of, you know, once you step on the field, it's kind of you and your bubble just getting it down. Christian, you talked to, to Cam and all about that. He, it was a different circumstances, but there was an NFL lockout when he was coming in as a rookie, so he missed a. Uh, you know, all the all that time during that lockout. I mean, did you talk to him about kind of you know how to catch up at all, or have you have you had a chance to speak to him? Oh uh, yeah, I mean they they all say the same thing, man. It's just you know getting your playbooks, but once you get out here, come out here and have fun, and uh, that's all it is. You miss some time, but uh, you know that part's over now, so I'm just focused on what I can do now. He just you know told me to show up and, and ball out. 
lot's been made about you know how will they use you, how will they use Jay Stu. What's your relationship been like with him? Did he reach out to you during the time you were away? Yeah, definitely. He's been awesome. You know, all the backs have been great. Uh, him and Fozzie and Sims, all of them have been, uh, you know, real good. And Cap's been good too, just helping me learn all the plays and just being there. So I mean, they're they're great guys, and I'm I'm real lucky to be in the locker room with them.